I saw glass blowing when I was eight years old at a Renaissance festival. I stopped in front of the glass blowers pavilion and that's where I was for the whole rest of the day. I said, this, I want to do this when I get older. And I took a class here and then I came back and took another class and I came back and took another class and I said, what can I do to be here more because I really like this environment. In this class we're making Marini and for me I've learned a lot of the sort of the newer, in some ways more complicated non-traditional ways to make Marini, but I've never learned the traditional way where you're actually starting with molten glass, you're making canes and, uh, and really simple Marini and then you basically make all these components and they start out very simple and then you start combining them together and you can do all kinds of different techniques where you just are combining more and more techniques, more and more components to make really, really interesting marini. I'm really process inspired, so when I see how something's done, I start to think, oh, if I did it this way instead of that way, if I folded this, if I put this thing this way instead of that way, the possible variations I find very inspiring. But I also like geometric patterns and, and repeating patterns and tessellations. When you're here at the studio, you of course have this great facility. I have never been to a nicer glass studio. They create an environment where they just have everything you can need. You don't have to worry about anything except for what you want to create. It's really very, very conducive to creativity. Then you have the museum, so you can go look at the actual objects instead of looking them up on the internet or in a magazine. You can look at the actual objects. Anything that you want to know about glass is probably in some way is already here. For working artists, it can be really, really hard to get away and do something different. I feel that I've benefited from the scholarship because this probably isn't a class that I would have been able to take uh, without it. It's allowed me to be able to take the time off work to come here and not have to worry about that and make glass. And of course, all the things that I learn in the class will sort of become incorporated into my work. So overall, it hopefully will open up lots more possibilities for me for designs and technique and just what I'm able to create in glass. And hopefully, because I teach here too, all these things will find their way into my lessons and the possibilities that I can present to the students that I have. Thanks for providing a wonderful glass resource for me, for everybody.